गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल टुडे विल डिस्कस आइसोटोनिक कॉन्ट्रेक्शन आइसोटोनिक कॉन्ट्रेक्शन इज वेर लेंथ चेंजेस एट कॉन्स्टेंट टेंशन एंड एक्सटर्नल वर्क इज डन आइसोस मीन्स इक्वल टोनोस मीन्स टेंशन This can be studied experimentally by fixing one muscle end, and other end is other end of the muscle. There is lever attached from which weight can be suspended. Load suspended before the muscle starts contracting is known as preload, and the load which is suspended after muscle starts contracting is known as afterload. performance is better in preloaded condition because the tension developed is greater the degree of shortening is greater for given tension the velocity of shortening is greater latent period is less so from all this in an intact body a same load can be moved same distance with less effort thus performance improves in case of preloaded conditions the series elastic component is already stretched so the contraction is used to lift the load whereas in case of after loaded conditions the initial contraction is used to stretch the series elastic component later on there will be contraction of the contractile component and it is used to lift the load in this case there is no further stretching of the series elastic component so there is both isometric in initial phase and isotonic contraction in the later phase isotonic contraction can be best explained by force velocity relationship here it shows that the velocity of shortening of a muscle is highest or maximum when there is zero load or no load as the load increases the velocity of shortening decreases there is a point where there is no shortening at all this is isometric contraction this occurs at a point when load becomes maximum cardiac muscle can alter its work for any given load or muscle length by changing its force velocity relationship this can be explained better in case of afterload afterload is the peripheral resistance when after load increases the pressure against which the heart is pumping increases so the output stroke volume decreases so there is accumulation of blood in the ventricles which leads to distension of ventricle this will lead to increase in myocardial contractility and the stroke volume returns to the previous level important points to remember define isotonic contraction it is a type of contraction in which tone of muscle does not change and shortening of muscle occurs so external work is done what is preload weight acting on the muscle before onset of contraction is called preload what is afterload weight acting on the muscle after the contraction begins is called as afterload define force velocity relationship in isotonic contraction velocity of shortening is maximum when load is zero 
as load increases velocity of shortening decreases give examples of isotonic contraction lifting weight from the ground ejection of blood from ventricles against peripheral resistance